Hi everybody! We are almost done. In this final video we are just going to do two things. First of all we are going to test if the ball makes it into the basket. And secondly, if it does make it into the basket we are going to play a congratulatory applause sound. So let's get started, shall we? First of all let's take down some of these guides. We are going to use the guides to find the extent of the basket. We want both the vertical extents of the basket as well as the horizontal extents of the basket. So when the ball ends up in this square we are going to assume that the ball has gone into the basket. Let's see. We are going to use the if function. First of all, if x is greater than 790, double ampersand, x is smaller than 800, and y is greater than Sorry, that wasn't 800, but 850. Y is greater than 217. And Y is smaller than 260. So one thing that we haven't seen yet is this logical operator called AND. The logical operator AND works that if we have two or more true values, then the result is true. But if we have at least one of these values to be false, then the result is false. So in other words, if x is greater than 790 and x is smaller than 850 and y is greater than 217 and y is smaller than 260, then only is the result true and only then will the following happen. We also have the OR operator and the NOT operator. So let's test it. Let's see if we can get a basket a little bit stronger. Almost. Almost. Hooray! Yep, we got it. Now that we can detect whether a basket has been scored or not, we want to add a applause signal when a point has been scored. To do that, first I want to create a new folder in the resources called sound. I want to import the win.wav sound in here. This sound is just a simple applause. Next we want to add a node called the Audio Stream Player 2D. And let's move it up here. And let's add the WinWav to the slot in the node. Let's rename the node to Audio Applause. And now here at Point Scored, we are going to play it. So if the point has been scored, then we're going to call using the dollar sign the audio dot uh, the audio applause dot play. Let's see if it works. It basically works. Sound in the beginning. That's because it's starting to play it, and then the next frame we're detecting another point scored. It starts to play it again, 
and then it starts to play it again every time there's a new frame coming in. So how can we make it play, but only play once? We need to use an if function for that. If audio applause dot playing. So playing is a property of the audio applause, which is automatically set to true if it's currently playing. And it's set to false if it's not playing. So if it's not true, we use the exclamation mark to define not. If it's not true, then we play. So if the audio applause is not playing right now, then start playing it. Let's see if that works. Hooray, it's working. Now we've completed our game. Yay! But for now, I'm going to say that's that. Please join me in the final video, which will be just a brief conclusion about what we could potentially do to improve this game and what would be the next steps I recommend for learning more. See you in the next video. Bye bye.